Justin, what's the worst thing about working with me? Be honest. The homepage you set my computer to access every time I start uh, Firefox up. What was it? It was um, totally cute overload. <laughs> What's the worst thing about working with Justin? The gas. Can you talk us through uh, the biscuit debate? This biscuit, I believe, is called a um, ice, ice vovo. Maybe? That's not an ice vovo. Looks like a race car. Whatever it is. I, is it shortbread? No. Shortbread. Um, sh anyway, Robert likes these biscuits with the jam and cream in them. They're better. Better biscuits. <laughs> Why would you My say that? My biscuit would beat Mark, your biscuit you in a battle. That? Why would you say that? Because. My biscuit would beat your biscuit in a battle. No, my <coughs> Put them now. Exhibit A. Wait. Exhibit B. My biscuit's definitely going to win. <laughs> ah, your biscuit loses. My biscuit did lose. What's going on here, Justin? There are five tracks. Plane claps. Five. Stereo. One, two, three, four, five. Five. It's Monday, the 2nd of November, and I'm sitting in my office at home, sort of in the dark. Um, and the album's finished. Pretty much. It's not mixed, that's a whole other process that has to happen next year. But it's pretty much tracked, which means that all of the sounds and all of the uh, performances and instruments and orchestras and all the things that are on the album are in the can. And after Christmas, so sometime in the new year, um, I'll start mixing the album. It feels really good to say that it's in the can because this last trip was it was seven weeks away from home and it's actually the longest I've been away from my loved ones um, and at, towards the end I could tell that it had been too long because I started talking to myself not in the studio but in my apartment I stayed in an apartment and um, I was cooking for myself and doing my laundry and stuff because if you if you stay in a hotel after a while it drives you crazy it sounds like a luxury but after a while you just want your independence but I found myself walking around the apartment some nights just having conversations, you know. What do you want to watch on TV tonight? X Factor. They don't have that in Australia. Oh well, something else. Um, so it was kind of a bit weird. But I really love the process in Australia and I hope that some of this blog has captured some of that. My connection with Justin Shave is, is so great. I can't imagine doing live shows or doing albums without him because he's be, he's become such a, a constant in my life. It was really great to work with Robert again. Um, the studio guys at 301 in Sydney were phenomenal so I really really loved working with them. Uh, the string session was crazy. It was um, so stressful to be honest. You, it's so expensive and you have to make sure that all the parts and everything are absolutely correct in the way that you want them and because there are unions involved uh, with the performance you know you, you don't have the luxury of, of uh, trying things three or four times you have to kind of get it right um, first or second take so that was a bit difficult but exhilarating at the same time and what can I tell you so I think now I'm in the process of listening to the tracks that we've got we've got 17 finished tracked songs and obviously this is a single pop record, so I want it to be a very concise record with just uh, 11 or 12 songs on the record. So obviously the extra tracks you'll hear, they'll end up being bonus tracks or something. But, you know, I really wanted this to be a lean record, um, which is quite a, an ambitious thing to do in a different way to making a double album because you really can't afford to have filler. And even saying that sentence, you sort of putting a challenge out there that what you've done is strong but I really think that it is it's it's been two years really of songwriting and auditioning songs in my mind and putting songs on the the chopping block and some of them haven't made it um, I don't 
want to spoil any of that for you because of all the collaborators and the people that I've worked with. Some of the people uh, either haven't come through or the songs that we've done turned out better than expected and so we did more with them or some songs, um, they were great but they just didn't fit the concept of the record. So you'll see sometime in 2010 what ended on the record, what ended up on the record and what didn't but it's been a really great journey. Um, what's next for me? I think I think the mixing of the album is going to be, it's going to take the music to a whole other level and I'm glad that I've got the Christmas period and the holiday period to walk away from the album because um, a mix can kind of give you a totally different take on the music. So at the moment all the tracks are in the can but then when I take it to a, a mix engineer he's hearing the songs for the first time and and how he sets the songs in stone is how they'll be forever so it's an opportunity to change some things to take things to another level but it's also slightly scary because you have to finally commit so it you know there might be some songs where there are you know 20 or 30 parts that we haven't quite decided on they might just be sitting there in the track and uh, this is sort of the moment where a big stick comes out and <coughs> takes some some things or some elements in songs away forever to the graveyard so that's that um, yeah I think that's it really I'm, I'm not going to do another one of these vlogs until the new year in the meantime I'm still continuing to do some more songwriting with other artists and for other people it's been really fun doing that I have no idea if any of it's even going to come out uh, you know hope that it will but the, the process of working with other pop performers and writing songs for people who make music unlike the kind that I make has been so good for my pop vocabulary and so good for my idea of who I am and, and who I can be so I really hope that some of that stuff comes out next year um, but in the meantime thank you for listening to my ramblings and uh, hopefully I will have some great news for you uh, next year regarding the release of the record and in the meantime take care